what's happening everybody welcome back today we're going to be doing a video on lock and note the msd pro billet distributor part number is 85 555 i'm going to go step by step on what you guys need to do on how to lock out your timing on your race engine what that does it gets rid of all the advanced bushings it gets rid of all the springs the locks uh the weights the whole nine yards so after you when you start up your engine, whatever you set your timing at is where it's going to be. Say 36 degrees, that's where it's going to be at idle and all the way through your pull. Um, I was kind of hesitant on doing this for the longest time because I like to drive my car on the street. But the uh, more people I talk to that obviously knows more about uh, street uh, driving uh, race cars, um, say you can do it if you have the correct uh, equipment. And I've told you guys in the last video, with this digital six plus box, soon as we turn the ignition on without starting it, this box automatically pulls 20 degrees of timing on startup until it sees 500 RPM on your tack. And then it'll kick back into, if we got our timing set at 36 degrees, then after 500 RPM, it will jump back up to 36 degrees. So that's a good thing. But I was out here this morning trying to get everything organized. We, uh, last Friday, like I said, today is Tuesday. Last Friday, me and the missus went down to Davison, uh, Michigan. And we picked up a, uh, a wood stove for the shop here. This is a Schrader. The old school, you got your dampers here. You just spin these dials and you can adjust your airflow. It's got all nice fire brick in there. We got a pretty good deal on it. It's short. Uh, that's what I wanted. I didn't want a humongous one, so that's a you know a littler one. But it puts out uh, real good uh, BTUs, the gentleman told me. It has the 8-inch uh, chimney. So what we're going to do, we're going to come out of here, kind of go, I'm going to put a three foot section with the damper in it, and then we're going to kind of go on to a 45, because there's our chimney hole right there. And uh, obviously I'm going to get double walled uh, stainless steel. That's the expensive part is getting that four foot piece right there. I think it's like 130 bucks. <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been out here rearranging, trying to get... Uh, stuff organized and uh i figured i'd take a break from doing all that and uh we'll do this video on how to lock this uh msd pro billet distributor out um there might be changes of plans for this weekend for ugly we are still going racing but uh tyler our boy he uh let me set you down here our boy tyler has never been uh, to the racetrack and he's got a couple buddies that he street races with around here that is going to the track and uh, I told him I said you know he got rid of his 2500 HD so I told him if you really want to go um, and go run with the you know your buddies then uh, we'll just load your car up on the trailer and uh, we'll take his car down and, and, and see what it runs and let him have fun uh, so he's taking Saturday off of work and, uh, that's the plan. We're going to take the Monte Carlo, which I'm excited about. You know, I really wanted to see what that car ran as is with that tiny baby cam in it. And, uh, the setup is just super simple on that car. I mean, he's got, don't get me wrong. He's got a hell of a lot of nice parts in there. Converter, trance, rear end, you know, nice bottom end, nice heads. It's just, I think the cam is like a 242. Uh, 488 something like that. It's just a, the baby cam so and it's just a flat top uh, Piston uh, with a 64 cc chamber head. I think it's a 180 a 180 or 190 Intake runner on the head, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited uh, of taking him and uh, showing him the ropes He's never been there. So, uh, you know, I can mess with his timing and check plugs and uh, see if what we can get out of it so uh, it's it's awesome and uh, like I said the ugly is open until usually it gets too cold to where the track don't hook or the snow flies so Either way, we're going racing this weekend. So there'll be more content of that and uh, 
Um, I'm going to get you guys set up on the tripod. It's not going to be a time lapse. I'm just going to have you guys kind of sitting here. That way you guys can see what I'm doing on the distributor. Or on the distributor. And I'll take you step by step. So let me get everything set up and bring you guys right back. And guys, I wanted to throw in real quick before we get started here. We are still going to be taking the El Camino uh, to Ubley. It's just going to be a couple weeks longer since the boy wanted to, you know, go hang out with his buddies and try the El Camino, or his Monte Carlo out. But we are still planning on taking the El Camino and getting some numbers with the nitrous. I've been talking to a, a good buddy of mine, Phil, um, that lives out in New York that has been dealing with nitrous race cars for over 30 years. And he reached out to me and he asked me my combination, uh, what plate system, what flowing fuel pressure, um, what timing, how am I pulling my timing. And we went over everything and he says, Herb, the way you got it and your intentions on what you're doing with locking the distributor out, you're super safe. You're good to go. So um, I really appreciate that, Phil. I wanna, when you watch this video, thank you very much for all the knowledge. He even told me. If we have any issues at the track or any questions, don't hesitate to call him or email him, and he'll get on the phone with me, and, and we'll work it out uh, right live at the track. So we are still taking the El Camino. Don't think that we're not. Uh, it's just that the boy, you know, hey, what fathers do for their sons, man. You know, he wants to go with his buddies. He ain't got no way to get there. We're going to take him. All right, first thing we're going to want to do, which I already did off of camera, is you got a pin here you got one of these little dowel pins that goes into your gear right there so you want to take and, and put your distributor on a, a nice flat surface and have something kind of cushiony on this end and drive that out i just use a simple punch we got that out next step is going to be removing the screws out of uh, the cap and rotor or the rotor caps already off it obviously damn we'll put them in he-man pretty tight pick them up don't need to lose that So as you guys can see here, I'm going to kind of point this out, you got springs. Right here I got a blue spring and a real light silver spring. So all that's got to come off, Let's see if I can do it without pliers, yep, I got that one off. And you want to try and be as careful as you can not to bend these springs up or they're going to not work as, as they're supposed to. And they're real easy to bend up. So we got that one off. You guys can also see here we got a little bushing. That's got to come off. Set him up here. Set the spring up there so we don't lose it. We're going to spin this over. Do the same thing on this spring. Again, be careful taking it off. I'm going to set him up there. Take this little bushing off here. That's just like a spacer bushing. And then your weights. You got these weights here. Your weights will kind of slide off like so. These are your advanced weights. That's off. Okay. And now, as you guys can see here, let me see if it'll focus here. See that screw? That is a nine millimeter, or that uh, bolt, nut, I guess you'd call it, nut. There's advanced bushing in there. Um, if you guys seen my previous videos, I was telling you about the advanced bushings. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna spin it like this. Let me see if I can move you around here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Spin this. We're going to take nine millimeter, 
break this free. There we go. Take this nut off. There's that. Let me see if I can find my uh, magnet. There's a little uh, washer in here. You want to get a magnet. To see if I can uh, tilt this the right way where you guys can see here. Get the bushing and, yep. See the bushing. The bushing and the washer come out so that's good we're good there so now as you guys can see you can see how that how that works in there that's what your degree bushing does that lets your your mechanical advance only go so far so with your bushing in there if you got a 16 degree bushing that's only going to let this move 16 degrees so, um, 16 and 16 is uh, 36 degrees, or 32. I can't count right now. <laughs> but yeah, so what we want to do now, we want to take our gear, slide it off the shaft. Let's see if I can tilt this down a little bit more. We're going to take this gear, slide it off the shaft, take these bushings. I guess we might not need to. Okay, maybe we can try it without it. But as you guys can see on the advanced side of this, like I was showing you, on the opposite side, there's a square hole. See that square hole where my finger is? What we want to do... My hand will get out of the way. We're going to push this distributor up out of there. See how that came out? And we're going to flip it 180 degrees. And then it's going to drop into the, it ain't the square hole, it's the round hole. And then we're going to push it back down in. So now there's no movement at all. That's 100% locked out. See if I can spin this again. To, uh, let me see what I did with. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take and put our washer back on here. If you got big ass fingers like me, it, it can be a little challenging. Okay, the washer's on. Then we're gonna stick our nut on. Let's, let me get it up here. Get it out of the way of that thing. Again, big fingers in a little spot. Doesn't tend to work out great all the time. Come on, get on there. And I dropped it. There we go. Nine millimeter wrench go. We'll throw in somewhere. Tighten it back up. Tight. 
So we went from the slotted side, the slotted, right here where my finger's at. So that's all slotted just to, we pop the shaft out and stuck it in a little round hole where the, the, the pin goes through. And you don't put no springs, no bushings, no nothing back on the top here. Only thing you do is bolt your cap back up, your rotor, uh, your, your rotor back on there, and you're good to go. And of course, you got to put your uh, your gear back on also. Like that, we'll drive the pin back in, put our rotor back on, and there it is, 100% locked out. Easy peasy. What did I do with that? Uh... So here's all the parts that we took off. Your two springs. Your two uh, arm bushings there to keep your springs up, your advanced bushing, your weights, good to go. And that's how she's done. Easy peasy. But uh, I tried looking it up on uh, YouTube and I couldn't find a lot of uh, um, information on how to do it, so I figured it'd be a good video. But I'm going to get the. I'm going to get the pin put back in here and the cap back on, and I'll bring you guys right back for the ultra. All righty. We got some stuff done. We got our 85 555 MSD Pro Billet Distributor all locked out. It's ready to go back in. We got our 5671 A-8s all gapped at 30. That's what we're going to be running for lash or uh, for um, gap is 30 on them. I changed out my low speed air bleeds to help uh, lean out the idle circuit and uh, the low speed transition to help keep the plugs clean since they're a colder plug. So we're good there. But uh, I'm not going to put nothing back together because I'm going to be doing a video here within the next day or two of us setting the cold lash with stud girdles on a solid roller cam so kind of guys look out for that video coming up next but uh everything else is ready to go back together so after i do the the cold lash uh, solid roller cam video we'll be able to put this thing back together and uh wait for our turn to go to ugly and uh, see what uh she runs on spray but uh as usual guys i really appreciate everybody for watching don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. All right. Bye-bye.